There's more to the English than their accent. In fact, this place is filled with history and mystery. From a secret room to a bizarre condition, here are the 20 shocking things recently discovered in England. Number 20. Largest Millipede Fossil If you're afraid of worms, insects, and anything with more than four legs, perhaps you'll be thankful that this creature is long gone from our planet. Scientists recently discovered the largest ever millipede fossil, and its size is horrifying. This extraordinary find measures 8 feet in length and weighs 110 pounds. It was accidentally discovered on a Northumberland beach. So what exactly is this creature? This giant millipede is known as Arthropleura, a species that existed approximately 326 million years ago, at a time when the northeast of England was warmer than today. Now what's interesting is that this fossil might not just be an ordinary fossil. Instead, it's an exoskeleton that was shed by the creature as it grew, similar to how a snake sheds its skin. This discovery is rare because millipede species usually tend to immediately decompose and disappear, leaving them one of the most mysterious species that roamed our planet. Perhaps it's for the better, as these creatures are definitely animals straight out of someone's nightmare. Researchers believe that these creatures had at least 32 legs, and they could also have had as many as 64 legs. Before we go on, like this video, smash the subscribe button, and click the notification bell right now. Number 19. The Knife Angel Since we're already on the topic of nightmares, here's a sculpture that looks like something you would see in a horrible dream. This is The Knife Angel, a sculpture created by artist Alfie Bradley, based in the United Kingdom. This imposing 24-foot-tall sculpture is no ordinary piece. It was painstakingly made from 100,000 knife pieces. Not ordinary ones, but those voluntarily surrendered to the authorities, or those confiscated by the authorities. The concept of the artist garnered different responses from the public. Some crime victims claimed that the art installment totally missed the point of the message it wanted to evoke from the crowd. Those against the sculpture claimed that an angel should symbolize purity, and using knives to create its form contradicts its image. However, some appreciate Bradley's creation. If there's one thing that people can agree on, it's the fact that this artwork is a bizarre concept. As they say, art is supposed to make you feel something, and I think that's subjective, right? So I'll leave this one for you to ponder about. Number 18. The Hand of Glory this mummified severed hand displayed at Whitby Museum is one of the most bizarre displays in England. This mummified body part was found in the early 20th century, hidden on the wall of a thatched cottage in Castleton by a local mason and historian named Joseph Ford. Ford claimed that the hand isn't just a simple artifact, but rather, it's something from popular tales and legends, often referred to as a hand of glory. You see, a long time ago, people believed in the hand of glory which is essentially the hand of a criminal who is punished by hanging. This hand was supposed to have magical powers. Burglars would use the hand of glory to put people in a deep sleep so they couldn't wake up while the burglars stole their things. In one version of this story, the hand was used like a candle holder, and the fingers of the hand would light up when a special candle made from human fat was lit. If one finger didn't light up, it meant someone was still awake in the house. In the other versions, the hand itself had burning fingers. No matter which version, the fire from this hand couldn't be put out with water or by pinching it. And so, because of these legends, the mummified hand remains in Whippy Museum's display to this day. Number 17. New Armored Dinosaur If you're fascinated by dinosaurs, this new discovery just might interest you. Let's keep off macabre discovery, shall we? Recently, researchers unearthed a new dinosaur species known as Vectipelta beretti off the southern coast of England. This discovery is one of the first fossils of an armored dinosaur discovered on the island in over a century. This creature, which is essentially an ankylosaur, that might be a term you're familiar with, thrived during the early Cretaceous period, approximately 145 to 100 million years ago. This era is marked by a scarcity of fossils globally leading some scientists to speculate that a mass extinction event occurred after the preceding Jurassic period. Aside from its rarity, the new ankylosaur fossil also allows us to learn more about this dinosaur species. 
Experts claim that the fossil revealed that this creature had a close genetic tie with Chinese ankylosaurs, suggesting that dinosaurs had the ability to migrate between Asia and Europe during the early Cretaceous period. Who knows what other things this fossil might shed light on in the future? Number 16. Dorset Usur Now let's go back to the macabre with this story. The Dorset Usur is a peculiar and eerie figure from English folklore, particularly associated with the county of Dorset. If any of you guys are familiar with this, please feel free to share any things I might have missed in the comments down below. The Usur is a mysterious and frightening mask-like object that was once used in traditional celebrations and festivals, but its origins and purpose remain shrouded in mystery. It's often described as a grotesque and unsettling mask or headpiece with hollowed-out eyes, a gaping mouth, and a bizarre assortment of animal horns attached to its head. The mask has a hinged jaw that can be moved, giving it a nightmarish appearance. Now, no one knows just where the story of this mask originated. However, the majority of locals believe that this mask has been used in traditional rituals and celebrations in the region. However, some also claim that this mask is just another way the elderly scare children into staying in their homes or following their parents' orders. Today, the Dorset Usur is an intriguing relic of the past and has been preserved as part of British cultural heritage. The original mask, however, is no longer in existence, and the current version on display in the Dorset County Museum is a replica. However, replica or not, this mask is still incredibly creepy to look at. Number 15 the world's rarest flower. This flower might look ordinary, but this is Middle Mist's Red, also known as the Spring Rose, a flower that's globally renowned as the rarest on the planet. In fact, this flower is so rare that there are only two of these plants in existence, one of which is in New Zealand and the other is in the United Kingdom. This flower was named from John Middle Mist, who got it from China in 1804. Historically, Middle Mist's Red was a scarce flower, primarily found in the grand estate of affluent English families who could afford to acquire them. Middlemist donated his specimen to Kew Gardens, but it mysteriously disappeared, as did others throughout London and the entire UK, leaving only one location. By 1823, Chiswick House and Gardens, an English stately home, became the sole place in the UK where Middlemist's red is located. To this day, the reason behind this flower species' disappearance from its native location and how one specimen made it to New Zealand remains a mystery. This might look like an ordinary flower, but we can't deny that its beauty and value has increased a hundredfold because of its rarity, right? Number 14. An Epic Bee Chase Okay, now this is a bizarre case you probably haven't heard about. A woman in the UK encountered an unexpected dilemma one ordinary day when a swarm of about 20,000 bees suddenly latched onto the back of her car and refused to budge or separate from the vehicle for about two days. She definitely thought something strange was going on. It all started when the 65-year-old woman parked her car in the town center. She left the vehicle while she shopped nearby, but when she got back, a massive swarm of bees had already gathered around the car, much to her astonishment. Fortunately, a rescue squad of three beekeepers and a national park ranger were called in to capture the bees in a special box. It took them hours just to get rid of the bees, but the woman got her car back and the bees were safe, or at least that's what she thought. The woman was thankful for the authorities' quick response, but her deal with the bees wasn't quite finished. Little did she know that as she drove back home, the rest of the swarm was following her. And so when she stepped out of her house and checked her vehicle the next day, there was still a huge swarm on her car. So she called the beekeepers once again and they arrived at her home in the evening. They claimed that perhaps the queen bee was trapped and the swarm followed her all the way to the woman's house. The beekeepers received a few stings while trying to relocate the bees, properly this time without missing the queen. They believed that the queen was attached to something that got stuck in the crevices of the car making the swarm follow the vehicle for over an entire day. Number 13. The Stargazy Pie Now, it's natural for countries all over the world to compare each other's cuisines. Of course, it's hard to objectively judge each dish, but if England ever puts forward one of the weirdest dishes in their arsenal, this would definitely be among the top five, the Stargazy Pie. It sounds like a dreamy name, but trust me, there's nothing magical about this dish. 
This pie is nothing like the usual goods you see. Instead of fruit or a savory filling, this dish features fish heads and occasionally fish tails protruding through the pastry crust, appearing as though they're gazing toward the sky. At least there's a reason for its name, right? Legend has it that the stargazy pie originated out of necessity during the 16th century in Mousehole, Cornwall. The story goes that due to harsh winter weather, the local fishermen couldn't venture out to sea to fish and the town faced possible starvation. An undeterred fisherman named Tom Bacock set out in the stormy sea and faced the treacherous waves to somehow get food, and he was rewarded with seven different types of fish. To celebrate this, he cooked a pie with the seven types of fish poking out of it. And so, every 23rd of December, the town of Mousehole celebrates Tom Bacock's Eve, where a giant stargazy pie is served to locals and visitors alike at the Ship Inn. Personally, I'm down to sample this pie, but would you take a bite of this delicacy? Let me know in the comments. Number 12. The Killer Creek of England Located in the woods of North England is the Bolton Strid, a narrow segment of the River Wharf. At first glance, the Bolton Strid appears to be a picturesque, calm and narrow section of the River Wharf. It's often mistaken for a peaceful stream. I know this doesn't look like it, but this is one of the most dangerous bodies of water in the world. Yes, that's right. It earned a sinister reputation due to its hidden depth and strong underwater currents. This peaceful and picturesque small stream of water has an alleged fatality rate of 100%, at least for those who were unfortunate enough to fall in it accidentally. The Strid's deadly reputation dates back centuries. Even renowned writers like Gertrude Atherton referenced its ghostly allure in the 1800s. Legend has it that this treacherous water claimed the life of the heir to the Scottish throne in the 12th century, but no official records about this claim were ever found. What makes the Bolton Strid so perilous is its tremendous depth. It's estimated to be more than 30 feet, approximately 9 meters deep in some places. Today, there are countless signs along the Strid's banks warning people to stay back and be wary of the slippery rocks. There's a local legend that says the Bolton Strid is so treacherous that anyone who falls into it is instantly sucked under the rocks and never seen again. Although the reputation of the Strid is known, it continues to attract hikers and adventure seekers. If you're one of the few who wants to explore this place, then you might want to heed the warnings and take care in this place. While it offers a picturesque setting, it's a reminder of the unpredictability of nature and the importance of safety when exploring such areas. Number 11 world's first antimicrobial smartphone. This might not be an artifact or a bizarre phenomena, but this is still one of the strangest and arguably one of the most intriguing announcements from Europe. A startup based in the United Kingdom claimed that they have revolutionized smartphone hygiene with their new invention, the first antimicrobial smartphone in the world. It sounds silly, but if you think about it, we take our phones almost everywhere. And let's face it, most of us take our phones to the toilet while we do our business watching videos or memes. It's logical to think that our phones are one of the dirtiest things we own. And so, this startup created this innovative device based on the Cat S42, part of the Caterpillar brand, and stands out as one of the toughest and cleanest budget smartphones on the market. It boasts an IP68 rating, offering complete protection against dust and water, and remarkably, the manufacturer even encourages users to wash and sanitize their phones under running water. Yep, this is a smartphone that you can wash. Now, before you check for this product in stores, you might want to hold back on the excitement since this product is yet to be released. Number 10. The Home Field Hum If you're from England, perhaps you've already heard about the Home Field Hum. In fact, this just might be one of the most recent, the most intriguing phenomena in England that puzzled people from all over the world. The home field hum, just like its name suggests, is a bizarre sound, a persistent humming noise that disturbs everyone in home field. Now, there are plenty of theories and speculations about what might be causing the home field hum. Some suggest it could result from industrial machinery or electrical equipment in the area, but others are convinced that it's caused by aliens, as expected. To this day, there's still no definite or apparent reason for this bizarre sound. Number 9. A Collection of Stolen Bicycles In 2022, just last year, this bizarre news astounded several netizens. A man in Oxfordshire, England was investigated by the authorities for being involved in the strangest case ever. 
Collecting over 500 bicycles in his backyard, the 54-year-old resident was arrested recently following complaints from neighbors about his backyard, which had become a breeding ground for rats due to the abundance of bicycles. The authorities seem to have underestimated the report they received because they were taken aback upon arriving at the scene. Who wouldn't be surprised if they stumble upon what's supposed to be a residential area with a house filled with hundreds of bicycles? The collection of old bicycles has apparently been growing steadily for over five years, and it's reached a point where it's visible on Google Earth satellite images. With this being said, you know that this pile is enormous and beyond saving. The police immediately investigated which bicycles were stolen and whether they could still return the bikes to their rightful owners. Number 8. Fairies Do you believe in fairies? Most of us probably think these entities only exist in myths and folklore, but 53-year-old Professor John Hyatt believes in their existence. How couldn't he take a photo of them? John is a professor at Manchester Metropolitan University, and he claims that he successfully took photographs of minuscule fairies inhabiting the English countryside. These images depict tiny humanoid creatures with wings, appearing to float and fly in swarms. Professor Hyatt is on a mission to encourage more adults to embrace the idea that fairies are genuine and can bring a bit of magic into their lives. That sounds shady, but all right. The photographs in question were allegedly taken during his outings to photograph the Lancashire landscape over the past two years. These captivating images are currently on display in a special exhibition titled Rossendale Fairies at the Whitaker Museum in Whitaker Park, Rossendale. Hyatt vehemently asserts that the photographs are completely authentic and haven't been altered through Photoshop. I'll let you be the judge on this one. Number 7. DIY Surgery Many of us would resort to extreme measures when someone's life is at stake. Now consider the lengths a person might go to if their own life is in jeopardy. Perhaps the desperation and desire to live drove Graham Smith to operate on himself. Graham is an engineer from Lancashire, England. Over a decade ago, he underwent bowel surgery that left him with stitches protruding through the skin of his abdomen. He immediately brought up the issue to the hospital he went to in 2011, but instead of acting promptly, he was put on the waiting list, and his supposed operation got cancelled twice. The situation got held long enough that Graham began to fear the risk of dying of septicemia. And so, the engineer decided to take matters into his own hands and perform the required surgery himself. Incredibly, the self-performed surgery proved successful, and after 15 years, Smith felt like a new man. The original operation had left him a bit hunched, but the engineer rectified the issue by meticulously removing the botched stitching. Despite his success, Graham was quick to caution against following his example. He claimed that while self-surgery might sound intriguing, he advised the public that he's a specialist engineer, and he acknowledges that what he did was dangerous and no one should try to do it at home. Number 6. Thousands of Lucky Clovers If there's a habit that I retain from childhood, it's probably the collection of four-leaf clovers. And perhaps, I'm not the only one. Shamrocks are widely considered lucky, and this belief has deep cultural and historical roots. The association between shamrock and luck is most commonly attributed to Ireland, where the shamrock is a national symbol and holds a special place in Irish folklore and tradition. Well, there's nothing wrong with believing that these leaves bring luck, right? These two siblings definitely think they were rewarded with extreme luck when they found two seven-leaf clovers in a garden in Britain. You see, experts believe that the chance of finding just a single seven-leaf clover is about one in a million. Just imagine finding two. It's no wonder the siblings were delighted by what they saw. Throughout history, people have held various superstitions and folk beliefs about the magical properties of plants and symbols. Shamrocks, with their three heart-shaped leaves, have been associated with the power to ward off evil spirits, bring good luck, and protect against harm. Some believe that carrying or displaying a shamrock could help prevent misfortune. With how lucky these clovers are, I wouldn't be surprised if several people tried their luck to acquire them from the siblings. Number 5. Ancient Roman Trading Settlement Archaeologists in England made a significant discovery while working on a railway project they found an ancient Roman trading town a few miles from London. The ancient settlement had more than 30 roundhouses, which included ancient homes, stone buildings, wells, and something that looked like a major road. 
Experts believe the town was built around 2,400 years ago, and it exponentially grew when the Romans came to England in the year 43 AD. People continued living there, making it even busier until around 410 AD. Researchers believe the town's success came from trading things with other places because they found Roman coins, jewelry, and evidence of workshops where things were made. However, researchers also found some signs that made them think there might have been people in the area who were enslaved. Since this is a recent find, there's still much to learn. Number 4. The Woodhenge If you're from England, then perhaps you know about Woodhenge. Yes, Woodhenge, not Stonehenge. Woodhenge is an ancient archaeological site in England near the world-famous Stonehenge. While Stonehenge is composed of massive stone blocks arranged in a circular pattern, it's quite different. Woodhenge is an ancient earthwork monument dating back to the Neolithic period, around 2300 BC. Unlike Stonehenge, which features large stone pillars, Woodhenge is believed to have had wooden posts. Similar to the more well-known monument, it seems like this smaller formation had a significant purpose for people who lived in the region in the past. You see, Woodhenge is aligned with the rising sun during the summer solstice. This alignment suggests that it may have had some astronomical or calendrical significance to the people who built it. However, despite the theories, the exact purpose of Woodhenge remains a subject of debate among archaeologists and historians. Some theories suggest that it was used for religious or ceremonial purposes, while others propose that it served as a burial site or a place for social gatherings. Number 3. The Staffordshire Horde The Staffordshire Horde is among the most recent and the most valuable hordes found in Europe. This unexpected find was unearthed by a metal detectorist named Terry Herbert in July 2019 while exploring a field near the village of Hammerwich in Staffordshire, England. This precious hoard is made up of over 3,500 individual items, primarily consisting of intricately crafted gold and silver objects. These items include sword pommels, helmet fragments, crosses, and a wide array of decorative pieces. What's more, the items in the Staffordshire hoard display remarkable craftsmanship and intricate designs. Many are adorned with precious gemstones, garnets, and intricate filigree work. With this description alone, you know that the metal detectorist hit the jackpot. The artifacts date back to the early Anglo-Saxon period, around the 7th century AD, an era characterized by the Anglo-Saxons, who were Germanic people settling in England and shaping its history. Now, it's still unknown to experts why the hoard was buried in the first place, but if we're going by what's common and logical at the time, it's highly likely that the hoard was buried for safekeeping during a time of conflict, while others propose religious or ceremonial significance. Number 2. The Secret Rooms Blenheim Palace is one of the most significant and historical establishments in Britain. Even so, no one expected secret rooms to appear when the lake surrounding this palace was drained. If it sounds familiar, you might have come across this place because of its connection to Winston Churchill. After all, it is the former Prime Minister's ancestral home. Recently, Archaeologists seized the opportunity to explore the submerged rooms, tunnels, and sunken boats, offering a glimpse into the palace's history dating back to the early 18th century. Their exploration was only made possible because of the draining of the surrounding water. The submerged rooms are located within the Vanberg Bridge, a structure designed by Sir John Vanberg in 1708. It was initially intended to be a habitable viaduct, and it features ground floor rooms with fireplaces and chimneys as well as a windowless chamber that appears to have served as a theater. These rooms were submerged around 60 years after the construction when landscape gardener Lancelot Brown created a large lake around the bridge. The lake was last drained in 1768, leaving most of the submerged rooms forgotten. Inside the exposed rooms, archaeologists found evidence of habitation, including a plastered ceiling and remnants of a cooking range. They also discovered two tunnels of unknown purpose, blocked off after a short distance. The walls of these rooms were adorned with graffiti dating back to 1756, possibly the work of laborers or workmen who were at the site during construction. Now this goes to show just how many more things are lurking in historical places in the world, waiting to be discovered. Number 1. A Bizarre Condition This story deserves the number one spot simply because of how bizarre it is, but hey, you're free to pick your favorite story in this video, and you can share your opinion in the comments down below. Now back to the story. 
An 87-year-old British retiree shook the internet with his bizarre condition. He claimed that he developed an unusual condition where he continuously hears England's national anthem playing in his head. This is the story of a gentleman named Ron Goldspink who lives in Bilton. He claims that he was experiencing a bizarre condition known as musical ear syndrome, or MES. This condition tends to affect individuals with hearing loss, leading to non-psychiatric auditory hallucinations. Although the exact cause and mechanism remain unknown, researchers believe it arises due to a lack of auditory stimulation, prompting the brain to generate sounds, making it more common among those with hearing impairments. Ron's condition is so bizarre that he claims that he has heard the national anthem God Save the Queen more times than the late Queen Elizabeth. He even claimed that he could only specifically hear the rendition sung by an all-male choir. Ron describes experiencing the anthem around 1,700 times weekly, finding it occasionally overwhelming and maddening. To alleviate the condition, he resorts to wearing a hearing aid in one ear and playing the TV softly in the background. He recalled how he initially suspected his neighbor of playing loud music at night, but after investigations, it became apparent that only he could hear this persistent musical hallucination. Despite consulting with his doctor, he received no definitive explanation or solution for his condition. Well, that's quite disturbing, isn't it? Imagine having something that even doctors have no idea how to get rid of. It goes to show that a lot of exciting things can happen in one place. Which place do you think we should cover next? Let us know in the comments down below. Also, check out our other cool stuff showing up on the screen right now, and I'll see you in the next video. Take care, everybody.